Hi photo painters! Welcome to my tips and tricks tutorial on how to turn your photo into realistic looking paintings. This time I will introduce you to one of the best applications to make great paintings which is called iArtbook. In this video I will show you my tips and tricks to work with this app to trace your photo with the brush strokes it makes. It is so easy and natural that you will be able to do these kind of artworks from your images. When I first found iArtbook on Apple Store, I was amazed by how the brushes perform in this application. So nice and so natural. From the first glance they might look a bit similar to Procreate brushes, but once you start playing with them, you would feel that they behave smarter and you will love them. The huge advantage of iArtbook is that in the new version you can not only paint or smudge with brushes, but you can also trace or clone your photo and lay down artistic brush strokes to make the image look like painting. Initially this feature was not available on iArtbook, but the developer of iArtbook, Alexander, was so kind to respond to my request and design tracing feature in this app, so I must say great thanks and respect to Alexander. iArtbook is absolutely free app. Thanks to Alexander again. There is some advertisement popping up from time to time. You may upgrade to paid version for a small fee to get rid of the advertisement. iArtbook works only on iPad. You can use your finger to draw, but I would advise to use Apple Pencil or any other pencil compatible with iPad to make your work more accurate. So once you uploaded iArtbook, let's jump into it and make some art using my techniques. Alright, when we open iArtbook, we'll see right away the interface, which is pretty straightforward. There are four tabs on the top, painting, animation, tracing and time lapse. The one which we are interested in is tracing. Now let's upload the photo here, press on photo, and let me use this one. So we are in the tracing interface of iArtbook. If your original photo is a very small size, it will get upscaled in the application. So don't worry about the size of your photo. On the top left corner, you'll see a menu, which is very important. If you tap on this cross, you'll get back to the home page of the tracing feature. Here you can upload another photo from your photo library from files or select this photo and delete it, for example, if you don't need it. Now let's click on that again to get back to the tracing interface. I will deselect this, ok? The brush icon is simply to brush with the color here. The smudge icon, that's what we need. We will be tracing the photo with this tool. If you don't see that here, tap on this and select much out of here. A very important thing in the very beginning of using this application and the tracing tool, you need to go to the settings right here, click on that, and in the tracing you'll see the sliders which are in the beginning turned off. You need to turn them on in order to work with the tracing feature. On the top right corner there are different brushes here and the layers. When you have your image uploaded 
the main image will be as the background layer and you'll be painting on the new layer. If you turn on the eye, you'll get a white canvas. A very important tab on the bottom right corner. When you press on this arrow, if it's activated, you will see the opacity canvas where we will be painting on. If you tap on it again, you'll see the original image. This icon makes the opacity of the tracing layer more visible or less visible. If we turn it on all the way to the right and tap on here, the opacity will be higher. If we turn it to the left, it is less visible. Let's keep it somewhere in the middle. The camera icon is something we'll be working on later on. It is also very important. Let's go to tracing mode. And here we can start painting on this layer. As I mentioned before, we're going to paint on the new layer. If we need to add another layer, just press on this plus button. If we need to delete the layer, just slide this layer to the left and delete it. And here we have the brushes, different brushes. If we tap on one of them, we have the whole variety of these brushes. My favorite brushes are in oil category, but you can try and paint with any of them. The main thing, you need to have the smudge feature turned on here. Let's try the flat wet brush. You see how nicely it traces the colors and the entire image. You can undo or redo your actions with these buttons and you can decrease or increase the size of the brush this way. Now if we go to the layers and press on the eye of the background layer, we'll have the white canvas only visible underneath of our painting. Now let's use some other brushes. Really nice. If you don't like your painting, you can just simply tap in the middle of it and tap on the clear button right here and it will clear your painting. Regarding the brushes, as I said, uh, most of them are really nice and you can customize each of the brush actually by pressing on the brush itself and, and customizing any of these features like source, stroke, rendering, dynamics and grain, most importantly grain because in grain you can add some other brush or some other texture from the texture library and the brush will behave absolutely different. For example like here you see it's amazing. Let's use this one which I just made from the regular brush oil line and try to paint on this with a large brush okay you see how nice the texture is here it is brilliant I love it with large brush strokes you can make some underpainting some abstract painting to begin with Then what I usually do, I go to layers, add a new layer, deselect the layer which I just was painting on, and I go maybe, you know, either decrease the size of this brush and make some detailed painting on this flower. So we will have some details in our painting. Or 
or I can use another brush like for example this I like this one which is called elongation it makes some really nice painterly strokes for the details Or I can use any of these brushes, same oil line but smaller size. And then I can go back to the layers and turn on the underlying layer and see what is happening here. This is a bit messy uh, painting, but I just wanted to show you the starting point of working with this uh, tracing feature in IR book. But let's go and try something different. Let me upload this photo, the ships, and let me try to do something nice out of this. I will focus on this ship on the front, and the rest will be kind of smudged off and uh, more abstract-like. So let me use the brush which I created specifically. I'm sharing it with you, you can download it from the link below. Look at the links down the video. Then you can upload them into the iArtbook. To upload them, just press on this cloud, go to the place where you save them, for example in iCloud Drive or Google Drive, find them here and just press on them and voila, they are uploaded. So I'm gonna use this brush first for kind of underlying. No, then let's go back and if you see that the, it starts to paint with the color that means that you are in in the paint mode not in the tracing mode so for tracing mode you need to press on the smudge icon I increase the brush size and do a really nice brush strokes like that Very loose, very free. First, I'm painting outside of the ship, then just a little bit more precise inside of the ship, but still large and loose strokes. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another layer and paint on it. I'm gonna turn off the visibility of this layer and I'm gonna, I think, increase the, the opacity so we can see where, where we are painting. Now I'm gonna use a different brush. I think I'm gonna use uh, my brush, which is Yuri Impression which I made out of the flat wet brush. Then I'm gonna turn off the underlying layer and I'm gonna paint on this. Let's see what it's doing. It's doing a little bit more like smudge, brushing. If you tap and drag with your finger or pencil then you're gonna smudge, kind of smudge the image 
and make more abstract painting. And if you want to reveal some more details, so just tap on these parts where you want to reveal details. So we first like smudge the image and then we can tap on some different parts and you'll get out the details this way. Okay? All right. This is the way I'm doing. Okay. We can turn off the background so we can see what we are really doing. And turn on the underlying layer and see how it's gonna look on the... Let me use this brush. But... Where I'm gonna tap more than smudge. So I have some more details. Still kind of artistic details. Well, Let's see what's going on when we turn on the layers. No. So we can turn off the background so we can see we have the white canvas, not the photograph underneath. And I think we can do the following now. We can add another layer, which is gonna be underneath of all of them. Turn the the size of the brush a bit larger and just really paint on the the background by placing the large painterly brush strokes to fill in the white spaces, right? Okay. So I'm doing this all, all of this just in order to show you what we can do with this uh, application and with this feature of my technique. If we are satisfied with, with what we've just done, uh, we can further enhance this in another app, like uh, for example in iColorama, the colors, the texture, the, the sharpness, etc. So we need to save this image into our camera roll. For this we press on this button and go to share and in share we select the image format usually i use uh, jpeg without transparency uh, so i don't need to have all these layers visible and then i save it in the camera roll by pressing on save image then what i do i go back to my applications and open iColorama because for me it's uh, the best to enhance uh, all this painting. You can see that the size which we, we've got from my art book is, is the maximum, uh, which is really smart. And I choose the maximum size here. Then I usually go to Tone, Enhance, and I'm looking for the preset, which suits me here. Oh, that one is nice, but the contrast, okay. Let's apply it, then I can go to adjust. My also favorite ones are in Tone Lab. Preset, this one. Hmm. Why not? Hmm. 
Let me choose some other color. Let's probably use pastel. Or sign. No, it's too dark. Let's go again to enhance and try to find something which we like. Well, let's choose this one for the training purpose. Select apply. Then I need to add some sharpness. Go to effect and sharpen. I'm using effect number three. Increase or decrease radius, something like this. Apply. We can leave it like this, or we can add some texture. Go into texture, paper, and choose whatever texture we like, like something like this. Maybe we can change from linear to vivid. Yes. Okay. And that's how it looks after turning the photograph in IR book into painting and adjusting it in uh, iColorama. Okay, let's try something, some other images. Okay. Advertisement. Go to photo. Let me let me try to use a kind of cityscape and see what we're gonna do with that. Okay. Don't forget to go to the smudge icon. We're gonna paint a new layer, and I'm gonna use my brush, your impression. And see what we can do with that. First, I'm gonna paint the sky. See how nicely it's mixing up the colors. Then I'm gonna paint on the structure, give it a loose look, we'll fix it later. No worry, we'll reveal all these people, all these details in the next step. Now painting the ground. The harder you tap, the, I think the more visible or thick brush texture you're gonna get. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay. I will add a layer and I will get some more details on a new layer. Now I'm just tapping on the building, wherever, just to get out the details.
I'm using this example just to show you that this feature is possible to work with not only on the large and, and medium size images, but also on the uh, images with a lot of details. Like this one. Okay, when, uh, when satisfied, let's save this image and open it with the iColorama for further editing. Share, JPEG, save image. Go to iColorama, get this image on board. And work with the uh, tonality, colors, choose whatever you like. Oh, let's use this one. Then we go to effects, sharpen, and sharpen the image. Then we can apply some texture if we want. And it's ready. Okay, let me show you one more trick in iArtbook, working with my technique. Let's uh, get another photo. Let me use this one from Unsplash as well. Okay. And now I'm gonna paint on the photo itself. How we can do this? First of all, let's go to Smudge, which is tracing feature here. And on the bottom right corner, we're gonna press on the camera icon, and this will allow us to paint right on the photo. You see, nothing changes, so we're gonna paint on the photo. I'm gonna add, still add, a new layer, so we are not going to destruct the photo layer itself. And now I'm gonna paint with whatever brush I want. Let's paint with uh, whatever oil too. You see? This is painting right on the photo. This is smudging the actual photograph. And sometimes maybe it's easier to work on this so you can see where you're painting on. That's a great feature as well. Of course, you'll have some parts of the photograph popping up, 
but it's not a problem, you're still gonna trick the eyes of the viewer because the viewer is going to look at the painted strokes first of all Excellent. Yeah. We still have some uh, details of the photo and the majority of the canvas is filled in with our brush strokes which gives the viewer, the feeling that this is a kind of painting, a digital painting, but still, it's your art, it's your feeling, it's your creation. Thanks to I Art Book, really nice application. And thanks to Alexander for making it possible to us. Okay. Now, as usual, I'm gonna save it by going to share, JPEG, save image. Then I go into iColorama. Uploading this image. And work, working with, uh, with some adjustments. Wonderful. Okay, now adding some sharpen. And it's done. You see, I was just painting it right on the photograph with the help of my art book and my favorite iColorama as well. I think I, I managed to deliver to you the main principles of working with uh, iArtbook for the painting, the new feature which is uh, the, the tracing feature in this application. I hope you will enjoy this application, this way of photo painting. Thanks for watching and see you next time!